Good morning, everybody. So, the sunny spell is over, but I think today's the last day it's going to rain uh, for the rest of the foreseeable forecast. All right, guys, just got to the shop. I think the race car is here today, so maybe we'll do something to it. Um, I don't know what all we have going on today. We got to finish the tune on the black Yukon. There's a Camaro. We got to figure out what's going on with. Um, but other than that, I'm not sure. So let's see what's going on. What are you watching, Brad? Judge Judy. Judge Judy. More than $20,000 for one, okay? Is she your favorite? Yeah, she's a So Brad took this one for a test drive. It was having some sort of issue in the front end. Um, so we're gonna check that out here in a little bit and see what's going on with that one. What are you up to on this one, Lee? <clears throat> Brad just got back from test driving it. Had a little bit of an idle oscillation coming at the stop sign, so take care of that. This K5 just got on the racks. I think we're about to check out the rear end, see what's going on with that. Side note, she's looking good in the rain. It's just paper. All right, guys, it's time for the daily question. So, Lee, if I put a stage one cam in my car, I don't have to tune it, right? Incorrect. Anytime you make any changes, it needs to be tuned. Um, camshafts, center heads, intakes. If intake tube's bigger, smaller. All changes the math curves, all very important. You have to tune it. I mean, they all need to be tuned. No matter what gets changed. So is a tune beneficial to stock applications or just modified cars and trucks? As far as power, we can make a little more power most of the time on stock stuff. Um, a lot of the factory calibrations are pretty detuned. Uh, they got to run on 87 pump gas and sea level to 10,000 feet. So they're pretty safe. So we can optimize them pretty well for the area climate you're in. So earlier today, the guys put in door panels so we can race in the real street class. Um, we're gonna be putting power windows in it and all of that. So we got the driver one, passenger one, not yet, but I will be covering this car as much as possible. Totally forgot to end off the video at the shop, but today wasn't super exciting it's been kind of a slow week just tying up some projects getting some stuff done um i know we do have a dyno of tune appointment for friday so that one will be pretty cool it's an old square body c10 it'll be a pretty cool one um but anyways i'll see you guys tomorrow